fear the world. It has gone mad. Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We are finally back again. I know it's been a little time since we last journeyed with this crew. I did have a Christmas break and a little bit after that. Just because this series is a little more intensive, of course, as editing, but there's also people writing for this series constantly as well. So we had a little bit of a break, but we are back now and hopefully back for good. Um, and yeah, we're going to jump straight into it. We've got a few um, backstories here by Raystar to go into for, I believe, Jane and Courtney, which is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, and then we can get into uh, putting into our skills and buying our provisions because we've got quite a bit of that to do. But actually, if you remember, last time we started up this, we've been doing pretty well. Obviously, stress is a little high, as you can see, but we've got plenty of stuff to deal with that, so we should be fine. But first of all, let's go over some of these uh, diary entries here. First one here, again, like I said, these are both by Raystar. This is for Courtney. I don't know what it was, but I had a bad feeling when I woke up. My group came to this forgotten outpost, and I tried convincing everyone that it wasn't a good idea. But they didn't listen to me, of course. But I went too far, and I gave the enemy an advantage. I was in front instead of where I needed to be, and so I had to hurry quickly to get to the back. Everyone was in disarray, but we did end up, we did end up winning that fight anyways. It helped that Dr Jane and I had trained before we left. But she and I fared better, uh, much better and made up for my mistakes. I still couldn't shake that bad feeling that resided in my bones though. So it was a nice distraction to look to Felther and see she was stressing about something. I made sure to reassure her that uh, there was nothing to feel stressed about. It didn't take much to convince her and she got up from that darkness quite quickly. I learnt that it wasn't my party I need to look for, but myself. God, I've been hating these ghouls. They, um, they seem to be everywhere. Every time we face one, I get a good thrashing. It makes me want to... Ugh, I just... I'm through with this all. The bad feeling. The mistake I made today. Everything. No more. The next time I went to a forgotten outpost, I was more than ready to take on those ghouls and give them the thrashing this time. Once we won, we came across a group of peasants, and I insisted that we trade some of our wares with them. It seems that Felter did agree with me. I guess she wasn't as bad as we thought she is. That's for Courtney. And the next one here is for Jane. Damn that Felther. She's quite obnoxious, loud, and bothersome. And it does not help that we've been visiting places more putrid and unclean than the corpses I dig up. If Felther doesn't stop her obnoxious talking and snoring, I swear, I'll be the one to string her up myself. But on a brighter note, my relationship with Courtney has seemed to improved. We were able to train before we left the inn. And it turns out we have quite a bit in common. Too bad she's hanging out with that Felther the entire trip. I would have liked to have gotten to know her a little better. But it was a bit busy. I, but I was a bit busy myself. I don't recall getting along with someone. But Dismas and I had had a great time as of late. We talked quite a bit in the carriage. And he told me that, um, that he enjoyed speaking with me. I did also. And he's also very reliable in battle. He's the silver lining to all of this. I even uh, had the audacity to tell him that I'll ha always have his back in combat. There you go. Absolutely great backstories there. Really like that. So let's first of all get into uh, adding adding all of these. Um, I think speed to you and speed to you. Giving them guys speed is going to be pretty good. Uh, we'll, we'll try out the cards and see if we can... Oh, he's a curmudgeon, unfortunately. But we'll try out the cards. Oh, we've got a tested relationship. Aspiration Courtney. The hopeful. There you go. Courtney and Felther. A good relationship has brewed. Um, and we will try and repair some of the relationships. Actually, we'll just we'll just further the relationship between these two. Missed the mark. Did they both gain missed the mark there, or was that just you that gained missed the mark? You gained missed the mark. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, we definitely want to reduce stress by a good amount on Courtney here. She's taken quite a lot. Um, we'll heal you up a bit. Oh, god damn it! Unable to heal her. It's okay, we can use some food to do so. Not so bad. A little annoying, but not so bad. Oh, we actually have another speed token as well. Uh, Felfer, you can have one as well. Why not? Um, and then the gloves, we can go with extra strength here. So we'll go with you and you. Reduce stress a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, let's quickly check the provision screen. Spend what you can, or wealth no longer has meaning. 
Unfortunately, if not much we can get from did. here. Not much we can get. We do have three points for the mastery trainer that we can definitely put into. Um, we'll sort of take a look what we've got here. So I believe it's bleed out that's pretty good when uh, when buffed up. Ignores thirty percent uh, bleed resistance when the target is comboed, and it's going to inflict even more bleed, which is pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, aha. It's toe to toe that removes. We're looking for ones that remove that effect. So we can actually go toe to toe. Which is going to taunt for a little longer. But it's going to remove that. I think we go with toe to toe. We go with bleed out. And these two allow us to uh, do some good there. Um, and then on the last one here, we've got a few different options, to be honest. Um, a few different options, indeed. We probably want to go for some damage with Jane here, considering she doesn't have an upgrade yet. Hmm. That was quite a lot of bonus crit. Maybe we'll just go with... Maybe we'll just go a pick to the face here. I think that could be pretty good as an upgrade. Uh, and then we'll check out our uh, stagecoach. We actually get the extra scouting chance. You you and scouting go. chance for lairs as well. That's really nice. Experience. And then How we're pretty much good to go. We can go into the sluice here or we can go to either one of these two. Um, the first of many forks in we got the fog of war. Avoid the watchtower. Keep the flame at 40 right plus. Up. Oh, or we can go into the sluice, which I'm not quite sure what the sluice is, I'll be honest, but we'll, we'll go this way and try it out. Unexplored. A risky proposition. Indeed, indeed. Let's uh, let's go ahead and embark on our journey and see just how we might fare here. Just how we might fare. Let's push forward. So this is an interesting area. I've not uh, I've not been here before. I'm not quite sure what, what this involves. Um, it's swine country, apparently. Uh, let's just make sure that we've got some combat items set up here. Um, combat items. I don't know how likely we're going we're gonna to be to get some bleed going on here, but um, we can maybe mess around with that a little bit. We do have Loudenum about. We have extra flame as well. Actually, you can take some Loudenum too. There you go. This, this is going to be a good setup, I think. Right, so we'll see where people want to go. Dismas wants to go straight for combat, and I will allow it. But we're going into the blind here, actually. We don't have a map of any sort, so... This could be a... This, this could be a risk. Going in blind into these winding tunnels of flesh and putridness. Never a good idea, but... Our, our crew, they've fared well before into the Warren. Aha! Here's where we find our pig beasts. Not every fight is our fight. Honestly, I think Courtney, despite Jane not liking it, is probably right. We want to take some fights later on, if we can, uh, rather than early. And we will try our best to do that. But this area looks awesome. It looks very gnarly, but I, I'm, I'm sure our crew doesn't the sh share the same testament. This is uh, quite spooky. Whoa, look at that dude. Okay, we did unfortunately get um, Courtney pushed up to the front there, but... Does mean we can do less advance and uh, set up that repost for later, which is always nice, and that dodge as well. Ooh, these guys, uh, these guys can crit. These guys can crit. Uh, I'm gonna loudener myself here just because my stress is getting a little bit out of hand, and then we're just gonna go with a pick to the face. These guys are gonna be pretty, pretty resistant to blight, I'd imagine. We did get a nice dodge there. We'll go with that ounce of prevention to lower that stress a little bit. Of course, Courtney's always got the groups back in that regard. Skitter. These guys are going to be intriguing. They they look like they could be quite quite a problem. A that's, that's huge, guys. That is huge. That's a lot of damage. And a pretty big bleed as well. That's actually massive. My god. Getting a bit more blight on that guy is going to be huge. And then, honestly, let's just go do less advance again to get that toe to toe going. We can get rid of that, um... Get rid of that winded icon there. With our next move with toe to toe. Oh, this is... We are doing great here. 
You're on Death Star now. You're probably not going to deal too much damage here, but you're still a heavy hitter, so... Okay, we did we did gain some stress from that, but we, we took him out pretty swiftly. You've attacked the wrong person. Right there, you've attacked the ver very much the wrong person. So, yeah, we, we are going to do tur to tur here nonetheless, because it's still going to get rid of our Winded. It's going to set us up for a, a Mobilize as well, which is kind of nice. Steady yourself. These guys seem to have a pretty high chance to crit. Certainly proving to be uh, slightly problematic. Lower that stress a little more on you. We'll get rid of that on you. Nice. These two are hurtful. It's a nice stress relief there. Iron Swan to take out that guy. And the Death Blow as well. Cleared with Feeling good. Impunity. And another crit. Wait, we are bashing out the crits like crazy here. It's kind of nuts. I like you being immobilized because it allows us to stay behind. And we get two turns in a row there for a, a finish. And that was a very, very quick finish there. That, that was kind of amazing. These guys have, have, have kind of learned how to play along with each other. And that is that some beautiful synergy there. I'm sure they're happy with that. And we've kept we've kept our stress relatively low. I feel like this area is, is just bound to be quite the stressful. Consumes. The loathing consumes. Oh, I did not. Aha. I didn't consider this. Alright, okay, we've got to be careful because our loathing's very high. And to get out of loathing, we need to do res resistance encounters. Uh, which, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to do within this area, I doubt, at least. So we're going to be burning through our torch relatively quickly. But, got to remember, we do have um, we do have some nice ability to get out of that sort of stuff with um, the Felfer uh, combat item that we've got. The Warrens once again. We are, we are going to have to fight here, I think. Despite this being uh, a little bit relationship-ruining. I think we have to fight. Okay, we, we, we've... we've blah, blah, blah. It's the same uh, setup as before, so I think we're more than ready for this. Yeah, I think we're more than ready for this here. I'm still going to set up answer present prevention because I don't know what these guys could hit us with. Just be aware that we're probably going to get hit with quite a bit of stress and crits here, uh, which is always problematic. We're going to hit through your armor with that there. The squeal comes in, but we get that combo set up. Nice. No movement for us. The stress is coming in quickly. Okay. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pop this real quick and just give ourselves a bit more likes. That's uh, pretty important. And we can go toe to toe. I know that it doesn't remove anything for us right now, but it does set up Taunt, which I feel is pretty useful. Ah, oh, no crit, unfortunately, even though with, even with the combo. We do get to do Bleed Out now, which is just insane damage. If we, especially if we crit it, which we just did. And there we go, we get another hit as well. This this uh, hurtful relationship here is very, very nice. We sign up for a bit more bleed there. There comes the crits as expected. Um, health is looking a little low, but with the taunt we should be okay. Um, unfortunately, they did still manage to blight us here. But we'll, we'll do that there. there Reduce that stress a little bit. Go through with that. You are Death's Door now. You're going to get one more turn out of you. But, oh, I didn't finish you this time. I was hoping the same thing had happened as last time, but not quite. There you go. Get that Death's Blow extra thing with the Wicked Slice there. We'll get you, get you on the heal, I think. We kind of need that right now. And then we can um, fully heal you up with that. Or almost fully heal you up, at least. Gets rid of that body as well, which is a pretty big problem for Felfer. Oh, nice. Nice dodge. 
you skitter into the darkness. You do get some strength out of that, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue for us. We'll turn to turn just to get rid of that winded. Sets us up for another. Stay close. I don't know if we have anything to see through. Um, no, we don't. Nice. That's a huge hit, though. Wow, that, that almost killed him. Very nearly. There you go. Stab through the heart, and it's okay. That was a huge hit. Okay, okay. That was a huge, huge hit. Good heal, though. Welcome we kind of need to do anti-prevention before this fight's Academy. over, but it's not might not be possible. Another big hit on you. Bleed's huge. Unfortunately, not so much damage there out of uh, out of Jane. And there's the death blow. Beautiful. Yeah, we're getting through these battles pretty quickly. I don't know if it's just going to end up being these enemies particularly, but we'll we'll find out. We do just we did just get a trinket as well, so we'll uh, take a look what people what trinkets people are, are rocking. Um, you've got a lot of move resist. I think that's pretty important. I think we can probably get rid of that and go with uh, this instead. A little more, a little bit more important, and we'll keep moving on. I don't know how much more of this area we have to go, but we did at least reduce our uh, loathing by a little bit there. I didn't realize that would count, but it did, which is real there nice. Rumors, these rancorous beasts have some demonic spark. Wow, um, Courtney is getting quite stressed out just on the travel here. Hopefully, uh, Courtney's stress can be dealt with soon, because um, it's not looking great. Warren once again. Yeah, we kind of do need to do this. I think it's the same enemies each time in these areas, so we're prepared for them at least. And we've got to remember this game is early access, so they don't have all the enemies. And it must take a long time to make these models. Inseparable is really good right early on there. So huge heal. Not that we needed it, but that is a huge heal. We'll get some Loudnum on you. We'll do the same as last time, I think. Worked out pretty well. The hooks we just got to kind of deal with as they come. Please, no extra stress. That's a lot of stress. We're, we're dealing with it as quickly as we can, but it's not doing so well. Also, the amount of movement prevention you have, and yet you still... You still manage to get moved twice in a row there. That was kind of annoying. Let's get this guy with a spiked ball for that extra bleed. Poison dart him as well. Unfortunately, he did resist that. We're going to go toe to toe here just to move ourselves up and move um, Courtney back because Courtney wasn't in a great position there. I'm a bit worried about Courtney, I'll be honest. The stress levels are rising and not much has been done. Ooh, he did get uh, extra crit there. Inseparable once again for a huge bit of stress relief there. We could do point blank shot that will knock ourselves back one. But actually it won't, because um oh no, wait, what? That did not go as intended at all. Breakthrough. Because she's uh, immobilized, I thought it just wouldn't let us move back. Not how that works at all, is it? Not how that works at all. So Courtney's in a pretty bad spot now. Um a breakthrough. Courtney's not going to be able to use her move now, which is a real shame because we really kind of needed it. And also, you might end up striking Courtney. Yeah, exactly. We don't want more stress, but we end up getting it anyways. Oh, God. This is... We also got the worries as well. Diseases are not good in this. That that went very wrong for reasons that I don't quite understand. Yeah, le yet again, you're not able to do ounce of prevention. No, what are you doing? Oh, stop. This went so very wrong. No, move. <laughs> Dude, you got so much bleed on you. Can you, like, stop? We use, like, all of our loudenum just, just trying to keep you safe. Dude, what the hell? There you go. Big guy is gone. 
Man, we, we, we got put into a really bad position for really dumb reasons there. I mean, at least I understand how Immobilize works a little bit better now, but that still is not how that should have gone down. Not at all. Another crit coming in. And these guys have a crazy high chance to move us. Right, finally able to do Anza Revention. Company. Not that it's that worth anything. It's not really worth anything anymore. We're a bit past it, I'll be honest. Turn to turn and remove that winded for us. We've got two dodge tokens at one time. Can you leave her alone, please? She's getting kind of weak. There you go. Ooh, we got a crit heal as well. That's very nice. Hey, nice death blow on that. And the Wicked Hack isn't great damage, but it's, it's doing decently. We're getting a lot of dodge tokens here. A lot of dodge tokens. Kind of annoying when Wicked Slice does that little damage, but it's whatever. They're slowly hacking away. Are you what? Ah, oh, you little bastard shit. <laughs> 18 damage? What the hell? I wasn't expecting that at all. This guy's going to get into the turn out of this as well. There you go. Get gone. Get gone. Only just did that on the seventh round. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. God damn. That was kind of crazy. Pushing forward, the. The loathing howls. A loathing's going down, which is good. You don't have a combat item right now. Take these smoke bombs for now, I guess. You don't have one either, so you can take bandages. You don't have one either, goddamn. We used like all of them in that battle. I don't even know how far we are through this area, I'll be honest. I can't imagine too far. Normally the areas are a bit longer than this. I don't even know what are the other obstacles we can come across. Is it mainly going to be battles within this area? It seems like it's a kind of schlog of just battles against these guys every time. Honestly, our strategy is tried and true. Our strategy is tried and true. That didn't get rid of your armor? What the hell? Honestly, we need the Eyes of Revention. Company. Desperately. Battle Shank. Toast to get in front. Probably going to end up taking a Blight here. Oh no, we're good. We do take the stress though, nonetheless. Smash is coming in and hitting pretty hard. Doing good damage. And the inseparable as well. Gotta love it. Especially when it's stress relief. Damn. We cannot seem to get Courtney's stress to a, like, a decent level. It's constantly just really high. Oh, that's very nice. That heal was, was hugely important. You're going to skitter. I think we can deal with that. The squeal keeps coming in. It keeps hitting, but should be okay. And we'll bleed out, which will put you on Death Star and bleed you, hopefully finishing you in the next turn. But I think Dismas should be able to actually clean you up before you get into the turn, right? Yes, beautiful. Okay, I know that we don't need the heal. I'm just going to get rid of the body to get rid of the body. This guy's going to hit pretty hard right here. Steady yourself. 27! The That's the conclusion. highest damage I've ever seen. That was obscene. 27. Grows in proportion to mounting pressure. 
I stress, these enemies are insane at dealing stress because they just deal so many crits. Let's get rid of our winded token when possible here. Please give us a heal. Damn it. Yeah, I was hoping for a crit there, but didn't quite get it. Okay, this enemy this enemy could death stall one of us here. Okay, luckily he didn't get the crit. Kinda nuts how crazy those guys' crits can go. And there's the crit. Beautiful. Stress is kind of crazy right now. Hey. Jane throughout this battle has actually got to nerf Elther a little better and uh, built built on their relationship and put it in a positive place, which is kind of surprising considering what she thought of her just moments ago at the inn. Or I say moments ago. The passage of time is kind of hard to pinpoint when we're in these areas. But yeah, Courtney stress, Felther stress are really in a position where if we get much hallway stress here much travel stress, we're going to be in a pretty bad spot. I don't think we can do another one of these, honestly. We're doing too many of them right now. Yeah, I think we just I think we just leave. I think Courtney... Courtney's too stressed for this, and she knows it. What the hell's this? Oh, my God. Courtney and Dismas? Suspicious. Muttered threats. I didn't even do anything, and these two already, like, became suspicious of each other. How the hell did that happen? Bird battle here as well. Okay, slightly different organization of enemies here, but still the same enemies nonetheless. Pull you up front. There is comfort in company. Answer prevention. We have to do that a few times, I think. Tur to tur to get us up front. Ah, beautiful crit there. Beautiful crit. Ah, why? Why? I did something good. That skitter attack is is deadly. We don't have any way to really defend against it either. Steady yourself. A 15 crit. This this could actually lead to some some demise here. This this could this could be pretty bad. I definitely think this could be pretty bad. We're all we're all a bit beaten up. We're not all doing so great. Four. Why can you hit for four? No. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? That missed too? How does that even miss? I didn't even know that could miss. Oh, it let me it let me do that though. Haha. <laughs> I got around you, you bitch boy. Oh, and I can't even bleed out. God damn it. This is all gone pear shaped. This dude's gonna absolutely wreck one of us. One of our shits. It's just he's just gonna rock our world. The stress that's incoming. How are these two such low stress? It's kind of crazy. Okay, six damage. That's fine. They must have a crazy crit modifier if they're dealing six damage on a normal hit. Okay, he moved himself to the front, which is nice at least. I'm going to get some hurtful there. Please, a heal. Please give us a heal. Stress heal is pretty good. I'll definitely take a stress heal. We guessed all of that, man. Beautiful. Oh, that didn't even... I should have just got rid of the body. We've already got a disease. I don't even... I didn't even get to see what our disease did, by the way. I should probably go and check that. The worries. Ooh, damn. That's pretty bad. If Felfa's the only one that's truly stressed out now. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're just not getting targeted. No, everyone's leaving you alone. There's a nice crit stress heal. Cooperation is the key. Counter prevention is a is a bit of repent bit of help. I always shoot first. What do you mean you always shoot first? Uh, why? That was so uncalled for. So was that? Oh my god! No! No! Leave felt the bee, please! She is on the verge of a breakdown here. This is obscenely unfair. She's on the verge of a breakdown. God damn. This suspicious stuff needs to stop. You, you guys need to chill out. Oh, and of course you skitter. Good. Good timing for that. If they both skitter at once, by the way, we are doomed. That was good damage. Oh, nice one. He died. Okay. Can make all the difference. Probably should have just her stir there, but I need a I need a big heal on you and a stress heal. I need everything on you. Okay, six damage, that's good. And we return with the kill. In our path. My lord, this is stressful. Plus death's blur resist. Certainly something I could uh, I could see ourselves using right now. Keep her going. Dismiss and Felther are looking pretty, pretty bad. We need to avoid fights at all costs. Of course, we can't really avoid road battles here. Oh, right, okay. We've made it to the next inn, actually. We've made it to the next inn. That was just... Oh, my God. That was quite a short area, but my good God. It's a good introduction back into the series, though. I know this was a short episode compared to normal, but I think that was good, and I do... Uh, on entering next region, plus two stress. Oh my god. Um, either way, I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode. A bit of a shorter one. Um, and not too much enemy, enemy variety, but definitely a difficult one. We've had some relationships tested and relationships grown and some fouled. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. were right to fear the world. It has gone mad.